Hey, hey, hey! Today we'll be talking about Tar Creeper, a new Angoro card. I'm most excited for this card. Let's discuss why, and at the end, I'll give you a lethal puzzle with it. 3 mana, 1 5 taunt. Has plus 2 attack during your opponent's turn. How crazy good of a design of a card is this? So, for defensive purposes, it's a 3 mana, 3 5 taunt. The card is completely useless as an aggro card. As a defensive card, it's more reliable than second rate bruiser, which was already a very good defensive card. I hate aggro decks. Why? Because they don't require any strategy to play at all. This card, together with other changes, will slow the game down to a more strategic game. Games will be won more by skill than RNG. Let's look at some common aggro openers. Here's a Pirate Warrior opening. Imagine we had Tar Keeper here. We could coin it out on turn 2 and he would have to trade his entire board into it. A pretty strong play, unless he plays Frothing Berserker. His Berserker would be a 7-4. If we don't have an answer to it, we'd lose. In this case though, we would have an answer to it, with Blood Mage Thanos into Arcane Blast. But in a lot of cases, you wouldn't have an answer. So maybe you wouldn't have played Star Creeper this turn just yet. Wait one more turn. So now we're at turn 3. We're at exactly the same spot. If we play Tar Creeper here, he has to trade all his minions in. Which is good for us, unless he has a Berserker. If he plays Berserker here, he would be playing off curve. Overall, even if you don't have the answer to Frothing Berserker, don't be too afraid to play it. If he doesn't have it, it will often win you the game. If he does have it, you just need to top deck an answer. Or you'll lose. Now we're playing against Dragon Warrior. If it's still being played, it's going to change a lot next expansion. But just to give you an idea of how it feels to play Tar Creeper, I'll go over this situation. Turn 3. We could play it here and it contests the board beautifully. He needs a card from his hand to deal with it. He still has the coin, so potentially he has 4 mana. Slam and Fiery War Axe are off curve, unless played with Nazar's first mate. Of course, Nazoth's first mate, coin into Frothing Berserker would be the worst situation for us. But he probably doesn't have Nazoth's first mate. He would have played it over Sir Finley on turn 1. Trade in, play Ravaging Ghoul would be an answer. Or South Sea Deckhand, pulling a Patches would also be an answer. Great, Agro Shaman doesn't have Frothing Berserker. We have the coin again. We could coin out Tar Creeper here. However, it isn't better than second rate bruiser. Since the second rate bruiser is conditional, we'd prefer to play it here. Because we might not have the chance to play it for 3 mana later. Then we could play the Tar Creeper next turn. Of course, if we wouldn't have second rate bruiser in our hand, we would play Tar Creeper here. He can of course deal with either of them by playing Jade Claws and attacking in with his Buccaneer and Jade Claws. But that is an off curve play for him. So we're slowing him down a lot, or a little bit. However, we do need some other defensive cards to help carry the weight. And a real ancient deck, Zoo. Playing Tar Creeper here would make it really difficult for the Zoo player to deal with. Something like a second Soulfire, but that would leave him with no cards in hand. A better answer would be Direwolf Alpha plus Mortal Coil, but that's a two card combo, so not very likely. So if you just play Tar Creeper, you're probably winning. So with Tar Creeper being incredible strong against aggro, aggro will die out and everyone will be happy. Unless Blizzard made some more imbalanced aggro cards. Tell me in the comments below what your favorite Angoro card is so far. And now I know some of you waited for this, it's time for the lethal puzzle. This is a two turn lethal setup puzzle. Make sure you don't accidentally give your opponent lethal, since we're at 2 health. We don't want to die. Our opponent has an Arcanite Reaper and a Corcoran Elite in his hand, which he is going to play next turn to try and kill us. We have 10 mana and the following cards in our hand. Warsong Commander, Cruel Taskmaster, Ravaging Ghoul, Brand Bronzebeard, Mortal Strike, Argent Horse Rider, Corcoran Elite and Tar Creeper. Our opponent is at 27 life. 
But remember, he'll take 1 damage from fatigue. Can you spot the 2 turn lethal? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, I'll see you in the next video.